Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a second example where we're trying to figure out the measure of the two angles indicated. We're trying to find the measure of the angle ABD and the measure of the angle CBD. We're told that the angle ABC is a right angle. So the angle from ABC between these two rays, that angle here, is a right angle. So we can indicate that by drawing these. That means that the angle of ABC has a measure of 90 degrees, which means that the angles, measures of these two angles, must add up to 90 degrees as well. So therefore, we can say that 4x plus 2 added to 2x plus 7 must add up to 90. Here, I simply ignored the degrees because it makes it easier to work out the problem. What we're going to do now is find the value, and oh, I made a mistake here. This should be 4x minus 2. And so what we're going to do now is find the value for x and then calculate the measures of the two angles. So combining all the x's on the left side, we end up with 5x is equal to 90. The minus 2 goes across, becomes plus 2, and the plus 7 goes across, becomes minus 7, which means that 5x is equal to 85 divides both sides by 5 we get x is equal to 17. So now given that we can find the measure of the angle ABD. The measure of the angle ABD is equal to 4x minus 2 degrees. And since x is equal to 17 that is equal to 4 times 17 minus 2 I put parentheses around it degrees 4 times 17, that's 68 minus 2, which is equal to 66 degrees. So the measure of the angle ABD is 66 degrees, which means that the other angle should be 24 degrees. 66 plus 24 is 90. But let's work it out and see. So the measure of the angle CBD is equal to x plus 7, and that would be degrees. Well, since x is 17, that's equal to 17 plus 7 degrees, and sure enough, that's equal to 24 degrees. Notice when you add them together, you indeed get 90, which is a right angle. And so that's how you find the angles of those triangles.